Hey guys, Tristan from Cherry Tuning Performance here and today I've got a, another vlog style video. I got corrected, it's not a vlog because it's a video, so it's a vlog. Anyway, I'm sure you guys knew what I meant. Um, just thought I'd do another quick one. Today we're going to be unboxing a Wagner intercooler for a Kia Cerato GT. So yeah, I thought I might take you guys on for the ride. I got a clip on this uh, uh, very attractive looking clip on my hat here. So I'll be able to chuck it on my head and clip it on and uh, you guys can come along while I unbox this. Uh, it's in a cooler, so let's get going. Chuck on some gloves because it's a uh, black box and been sitting in the sun for a minute, so. Sure, it's gonna be hot. Let's see. Now I've unboxed quite a few of these, um, installed them on several customers' cars. They're very well packaged. Wagner, um, with the German flag there, uh, is shipping these from the other side of the world and they, they know they're coming a long distance. So you can see straight away, uh, there's a box in a box and all of the packing, <laughs> all of the packing material so that's the intercooler there. Uh, we've got hoses and a heat shroud, sorry, an air shroud uh, directs the airflow through the intercooler core because uh, we're losing the one off the factory intercooler. Uh, let's open this up and I've got the factory intercooler out already so you can see uh, the difference between the two. I don't want to come out. There we go. Just packing material on packing material, this thing. They really make sure this, this is coming anywhere in the world and not getting hurt in the process. So, starting to see the shape of the intercooler now. Just be careful, I don't want to scratch this finish, although it is on the back. Here we have it. This is the back of the Wagner intercooler. Nice big inlets and outlets. That's the inlet there. Um, big clear entry path straight down into the intercooler core, not like the stock one. Uh, and that's the front of the core there. So let's go over here, compare this to the stock one. That's that one. Here's the little one, the stock one. Quite a big difference. Uh, it's about twice as tall and uh, it's definitely twice as deep. Well, maybe not twice, but quite, it's quite a lot deeper than the factory one. So yeah, a lot more airflow going through there, a lot better cooling capabilities. And uh, yeah, overall, I think, I think this customer is gonna be very happy. I know all the other ones that we've installed, customers have loved them. Um, they've always made decent chunk extra power as well, um, especially in the top end, the, the extra airflow makes a big difference. The, the stock one here, uh, you can see, hopefully see in there, very like squashed, can barely get two fingers through there. It's, it's sort of flattened off. So these, these outlets and the inlet there is no better as well. It's the same sort of style. Um, massive, massive restriction to power airflow in the upper RPM. So you're definitely seeing a lot more, uh, a lot more power gain in the top of the RPM range. And then you get the benefit of obviously the extra cooling from the core, keeping inlet temps down. Um, and yeah, you know, needless to say, that's definitely gonna be helping with making extra power, especially in the Australian summer. So anyway, just a quick one for today. Let me uh, take these off. Just a quick one for today. Um, I just want to do a few more of these sort of vlog style videos, keep you guys in the mix uh, so you know what we're doing with these cars. This is a, it's the Serato that I'm working on. Uh, quite a lot of stuff, you know, doing intake. We've done a big mouth intercooler as well. Pretty cool actually. We've got a big mouth that's um, basically, yeah, basically color matched the orange of the car, which is, I thought it was really cool. So anyway, just a quick one for today. So yeah, if you've got any other questions, you know where to find me. Uh, in the meantime, keep it KDM, guys.